So I want to talk just briefly about a couple of very common mistakes that students often make when you're working with components. And the purpose of doing this tutorial is to try and help you avoid the mistakes. So mistake number one, trying to edit a component without double clicking on it. What I often find is that students will, for example, think they want to make a hole in this component, so they'll come along, they'll They'll find the midpoint over here, they'll find the midpoint just here. They'll draw their circle on there and then they'll take the push-pull tool and wonder why it won't work. The reason that won't work is because to edit a component you need to double click on it first. So double click, then you can come along with your circle tool, find the midpoint here, find the midpoint here and Draw the circle and push pull as you need. So you always need to double click your component before you can edit it. Another common mistake students will often make is that they'll start to edit a component in the correct way, so by double clicking. Then they'll do what they need to do and for this just to give a Small example, I'm going to make a slot, kind of this shape. Use the push-pull tool to create that through there. And then they'll decide that they need to do another part of their product. So then they'll continue drawing down here. They'll make a piece down here. And then perhaps they'll add a arc across there do a little bit of other editing using the push-pull tool and you'll find then they'll suddenly find that if they want to use this component again that it's now containing the piece they were just working on the problem was just now that I did my edit and I'm going to just redo that very quickly I made the edit And then all I did was I just continued drawing. And the problem then is that I'm still drawing inside this component. Now I've gone back a few steps here and you can see that I'm still in the editing mode of the component because the component is white and everything else is gray and it has the dotted box around it. So what I need to do before I make my new piece is choose the select tool and click once away from the component. That's what I didn't do before and that's what caused the problems. Now I'll show you that one more time. Right, so I'm in, this is the editing mode and to get out of editing mode of the component click once away from the component. Now I can start working on something separate. So now if I want to start drawing my rectangle and make whatever it is that I want that's new. It will now be completely separate from this component. As you can see, I can choose the component. I can move it around without any problem. And also then, if I bring in a new copy of my component, there are no extra bits that I don't want.